Hello, YouTube fans. This is Lost Qualcomm. Now, if you hear the fan, just ignore it. It's hot in here, so I want to talk about something. I want to talk about Twisted Metal, right? I'm excited for the new Twisted Metal show. To be quite honest with you, I know some people might have some beefs and all that shit, but overall, I'm excited. I'm excited for the game too, but I want to talk about the game real quick. I'm kind of worried with the game. Why? Because it's been said it's going to be free to play. Now, I have nothing against free to play games, but I don't know. Something tells me when it comes to Twisted Metal, Twisted Metal, free to play online, all free online, free to play online game. You know what that tells me? You know what that tells me? Shot cards, basically. Um, other shit. So, hey, uh, the game didn't work the, um, the first week or a few months, but now it's great, right? It's great, right? It's great, right? It's great, right? Like, No Man's Sky and fucking, what, what, what's that other game? Um, um, Cyberpunk or some shit? Come on, guys. Like, I understand the stories between those games and everything like that, but I don't want that shit to happen with Twisted Metal. Could I, could we just get a game that's a game? And just fucking play it. And if you want people to play online, have an option for pe people to play online. Don't make it to free to play, man. Free, free to play. I don't know. That's just some. That tells me right there, free to play. It just tells me that the game is empty, and you're the ones that are going to be the ga the game testers. That's the only thing that tells me it. Hey, you can you can think I'm wrong. You can think I'm fucking crazy around here, but I just. I have to talk about this because I am worried about this shit. I am. I'm worried about this shit. And if you're not worried about it, I think you're shit. Maybe not to the extent that I am, but be cautious, at least. Because this shit, in my opinion, is bullshit. And I get some people kind of play those type of games right now, but I don't. I, don't give, I can give two shits about free online play, to be quite honest with you. Now, there's a difference. Between, again, I think, look, I've always mentioned that WWE, the 2K wrestling games, should do free online play because their games are never, their games are always the same. Now, if the Twisted Metal game is going to be like that, then I guess we're going to have the free to play then, you know? But don't expect me to fucking play it every fucking goddamn day, to be quite honest with you. I just hate online gaming. The reason for that is because fucking GTA 4, I mean 5. Alright? GTA 5 fucking destroyed that shit for me. You think I fucking want to play on my Twisted Metal game? I don't know. Fuck that shit. And one thing, too, I want to point out, too. No fucking racing in Twisted Metal games. Don't fucking do that shit. Don't put a fucking racing game in a car combat game, you fucking piece of shit. That's what I'm going to say right now. Alright? The whole reason why Twisted Metal on the PS3, in my opinion... I failed because they did a racing car shit, and if you play the storyline, if you could, you had to go through it, and if you didn't get through it, you're not going to beat the game. I didn't beat the game because of it, because they want you to fucking do some racing shit that goes everywhere, and all of a sudden the cars are fucking hitting each other and crashing to each other, and then it's not even fun anymore. It's not even fun anymore. At that point, just use a fucking goddamn helicopter. You probably couldn't even use it anyways. Oh God. And the thing is too, what? How many characters are we going to get in this twist metal on game? It's going to be like um, Twist Metal on the PS3. I hope not. That's the one thing I hated in Twist Metal on PS3. Why you? Why you can only play as uh, Sweet Tooth, Mister Grimm, and Dollface? You can only play as those three characters. I want to play as other characters. I get it. There's different types of vehicles, but you mean to tell me there's not different type of fucking players that you can make? What? What? what where's? Where, where the? Where the fuck is um? Where's Raven, for example? A better example was Calypso. It'd be nice if, if there's a, you know how. Cal the thing is, if, if you're gonna have cars, at least have all the cars out from the, all the other, from all the other Twisted Metal games, at least the ones that people like, you know. And but still, you should bring other um new characters and then old characters. You know, I just feel like this free to play bullshit is gonna be like, oh, you don't like that character, we moved it. Here's another character. Oh, um, you you like this? He'll pay pay this. I feel like it's going to be like that. It should. Can you just 
fucking make a fucking goddamn game that has everything, sounds of whistles, all right, and then we can move the fuck on. Seriously, enough with this fucking bullshit of like, hey, let's have um, the players be the testers, and maybe we can actually make a fucking goddamn game. I don't want that shit to be full, full twist the metal, to be quite honest. I can't support a game that does shit like that. I can't. And if some idiot is going to be like, well, this is the future of gaming, so you're going to... No, no, I don't have to. I don't have to accept shit, motherfucker. I, in fact, I don't have to play the new Twisted Metal game if it's going to be like this. I'm not saying it's not going to be bad or anything like that, but if it is going to be bad, don't expect me to fucking goddamn play it. I'm more worried about the Twisted Metal game than the fucking TV series, in my opinion. All right, because all of you idiots are so worried about the Twisted Metal series, not knowing the old fucking, um, the old fucking cutscenes to the ending of the Twisted Metal games were so te cheesy and so bad in a good way that that I embraced the shit out of it, obviously. But I knew that David Jaffe can't do it. Basically, if he wanted to make a Twisted Metal series with him in the in the front side in the front center, he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. You mean to tell me he's going to write a fucking episode of, of Sweet Tooth getting in a paper bag? Just saying. I'm just saying, pointing out right, that right now. He made fun of that shit. And he knows that's bad. And he even said he should never get behind a movie camera. Alright? So what they're doing in the Twisted Metal um, TV series, calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. And I know, and the thing is too, here's another complaint with the Twisted Metal TV series. Sweet Tooth is only in one episode, supposedly. So what the fuck, so what you saw is, is that, that's it. That's it. There's not even a Calypso in, in this, in this series. What the fuck? Now, it could be possible that you're just hiding it for the fans. And if that's true, that's true. That's totally fine. I can see that. Why? I can see why you did that. But overall, if it's not that, then you fucked up. You lost me. You lost me. I'm only going to watch the episode that has Sweet Tooth then. Not to say the other actors are not going to hold the, the, the weight of the of the narrative of the, of the show, but if you're not going to have the people that are part of the show, I mean, John Doe is there, and you have other characters that are part of the game, yes, I get it, but I'm talking about the characters that people really care about. That's why, I'm, that's why I mentioned before that the TV show should be centered around either Calypso or Sweet Tooth, but you didn't want to do that. You see, I'm talking, that's why I mention stupid shit sometimes, man. Stupid shit that they didn't know how to make stupid shit for, they, they still want to do stupid shit. And then when it comes to the Twisted Metal game, they want to fucking make it free to play. I get it. Free to play. That sounds great, to be honest. Free to play, I don't have to pay for it and shit like that. But at the same time, there could be flaws with that shit, man, like I pointed out before. Can we just get a complete game? How about that? How about that? I'm tired of this bullshit, of free-to-play shit, and then all of a sudden, there's nothing to fucking play, but a fucking hustle of a game, and then we need to be like, oh, put this, put that, put this, put that, oh, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, that doesn't work. And then all of a sudden, we finally get a game in a year's time. I don't want to fucking, I don't want that shit. Alright? Oh, calm down. You're overreacting. No, this is the shit. This is the pattern that I've been seeing with fucking online gaming and free online gaming sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. And I'm fucking tired of it because it shouldn't be like that. And that's and that points me out more of a reason why I don't fucking play online gaming because I don't give a fuck about it. I don't give a fuck about it. I care less. I could give fucking less. Why do you think I could give a fuck about cloud? Why do you think I don't give two shits about cloud gaming? Yeah, I can play an online service. I mean, yes, I can play a, a, a downloadable game that's probably on the cloud, but if you're going to make it a majority a thing for everything else for right now, then I'm not, good luck. You're not going to have me as a customer, idiot. That's just me. You lost me as a customer right there. I don't know some people are going to be out there and be like, well, that's too bad for you. No, that's too bad for them. Instead of, instead of compromising and leaving everyone else in the dust, that doesn't want to fucking be part of clown gaming, they're just going to be like, well, too bad for you. And I'm like, well, okay then. Don't expect me to fucking play this shit then. That's why I've always, that's, that's why I mentioned making my own fucking goddamn video game, man. So, so why we're doing this shit?
seriously. I don't give a fuck if you guys think my video game is bad. At least I fucking goddamn made my own shit. I can play anytime I fucking goddamn want. I don't have to fucking spend time playing their shit. You know? That's just me, man. That's just fucking me. Alright? Because I, 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 I just get not worried. I just get pet peeve when games should not be a certain way and then they do it. Just because, oh, it needs to adapt. Oh yeah, that's the same that's the same mindset that we got with Final Fantasy. And look the way it is. Look at Final Fantasy 16. No one doesn't give a fuck about Final Fantasy 16. You guys are... Let me point something out with Final Fantasy 16. I pointed this to my mother and my sister. And they were smart enough and they were intelligent enough to know that that shit failed. Because I told them about the money. I told them this. If you made a product that was $700 that you got. $700 or $600. I mean, no. Not even... Sorry. If you made a project that made $7 million and also $6 million, and then you made another product that is basically almost the same thing as Final Fantasy XV, just a little bit different on that shit, but we're not really being like XV, basically. It's just completely downgrade of everything that was in XV that basically all the complaints that were in XV dramatically heightened, basically. And all the good stuff was stripped. That's what Final Fantasy XVI is. And then when you tell the people that it only made $3 million compared to what Final Fantasy VI um, 15 made, they're going to be like, yeah, that's a fail. It's common sense. And I'm like, thank you. You make a, you make a game that's, 700, that's $7 million, then you make another game that's all, and then it became $3 million. It's part of the same franchise. Same, same franchise, yeah. That's a fail, man. That's a fail. You're not getting your you returns back, dude. And I love how people want to defend Final Fantasy 16. They're like, oh, but it's still good. It still made money. $300 million is nothing in the gaming industry, you dumb motherfuckers. Imagine a movie making $3 million. That's nothing. That's nothing. For you, it's something for your fucking poor ass piece of shit. But I know that's nothing. I know it's nothing. Business wise, that's nothing. I just pointed you out. If you, if you spend. If, if you spend $7 million on selling cookies, basically, and then you make those batch of cookies again, and then you only make $3 million back, motherfuckers, the other people don't give a fuck about your cookies. You have to change it. What are you not getting, you stupid idiot? Stupid fucks, man. So, besides that, this new Twisted Metal game, I'm just hope. Not even hoping, because what hope has to do with it? Fuck hope. What does... What... What does Twisted Metal need to do? To fucking... I don't know. In my opinion, and some people fucking think that this is stupid and outrageous and would never happen. How come you can't make... David, David Jaffe pointing this out. He even said that maybe the next Twisted Metal game should be like GTA. Or open field, open around and all of that stuff. I pointed out Crash Bandicoot, um, Crash, um, Crash Team Racing. I, I pointed that out. Twisted Metal can look at Crash Team Racing and literally be that. Why are we, why, why are we not thinking about this? Are you guys this stupid for not thinking that Twisted Metal can look at Crash Team Racing and adapt that and, and evolve from that? Crash Team Racing was awesome. And you mean to tell me you can't do that for Twisted Metal? That tells me something's wrong with you, and you're not creative, and you're stupid, and you're not should be in the gaming business at all. Get the fuck away from me. The fuck you making this shit then? Seriously. Seriously, man. What we're going to get with this new Twisted Metal game? I want to say this right now. I think we should be. I think we should ask these questions already, man. We should. We should be asking these questions because we're seeing the TV show right now, and the TV show comes out on July twenty seventh, and we know nothing about the fucking video game right now. Oh, it probably will. It will probably will be talked about when the show is um being talked about. You mean when the show is good? Because if the show sucks, I'm, 
I bet you anything they won't even fucking talk about the game. Why would they? And and I'm thinking right now that the that the game is going to be based off the TV show. It makes sense. It does make sense. Should that be la- that way? No, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Because, for example, if the TV show sucks, and you make a game out of the TV show, no one's not going to fucking play it. That's a good example. Why do you think people would just say that, hey, just make a, a another Twisted Metal game that's just different, and do other things? And the thing is, they're not saying do not do online play. I'm just saying that. I am. Me, 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 me. Because <laughs> I just don't care for it. And if you agree, that's fine. But I just... And if you disagree too, that's fine. It's just that I don't care for it, man. I really, really don't give a shit about it. I really don't. I really don't. And I love Twisted Metal. And the fact that they're going to do this in Twisted Metal, do a free online stupid shit, in my opinion, just tells me that either they have nothing, and they're going to make a fucking service for you to look at it and pay for it. So eventually it can become what we want. No. 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 I gotta point this out right now, because if they do do that, um, you better, uh, if you're a Twisted Metal fan, you better uh, be prepared for how much shit this is gonna be. You think No Man's Sky got fucked over? You think uh, Cyberpunk 77 got fucked over? Oh, this is going to be more, more fucked than those two combined. So imagine that. That's why I point out that I don't care about free online things. Like, I mean, yes, I care about it. But when you having, uh, when you make a video game surrounded by it, and you want the people to literally be, again, the, the game testers. Instead of you already having the game to begin with. Come on, man. Come on, man. You mean to tell me, you mean to tell me, like, for example, imagine them making a Twisted Metal game, right? Free online to play. And they all of a sudden, you can't play Sweet Tooth. Oh, you need to pay for him. Oh, we, 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 we just want you to test the game out before we actually put him in the game. I wouldn't say this stuff if it wasn't a pattern. And if it didn't happen. And the reason I mention it with Twisted Metal is because you think fucking Sony gives a fuck about Twisted Metal? They're going to do everything they can to bring it to a modern setting and change it so for newcomers to play. And then alienated your fucking hardcore fan base. Like, like Final Fantasy, like Square Enix, they were Final Fantasy. Come on, man. Wouldn't it be more important for you to get the fans first? And then when people talk about it, if it's good, newcomers can come. Because they're seeing people playing it and talking about it, and, and, and then they getting hyped up and talking about how much they like it. So other people are getting hyped up and then being like, yeah, yeah, maybe I should get this, maybe I should get this. You know? It's kind of like how it was with Kingdom Hearts 3. The fans for Kingdom Hearts were so hate for Kingdom Hearts 3, and then newcomers to Kingdom Hearts were like, yeah, maybe I should check Kingdom Hearts 3 out, which we were literally telling them, we not fucking do that because you didn't play the other ones, you fucking idiot. Oh, if I play Kingdom Hearts 3 and I get confused, the game sucks. No, it's because you suck, you fucking idiot. Fuck you, Angry Joe. Go fuck yourself. Fuck you, Angry Joe. Seriously, go fuck yourself. Seriously, the worst YouTuber ever. Literally, Angry Joe. The Yo's... The worst YouTuber ever right next to fucking, um, what is it? What's his name? Um, Dreamcast guy. Seriously. Seriously, man. So, at the end of the day, if if this, um, free-to-play bullshit for Twisted Metal is, is great, I'll be up for it. But the reason I say that I'm worried about it is because... I feel like something within me is just telling me that this shit is going to fail because the people behind it are not going to give a shit about it. Could 
prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Going back, I'm, I'm not saying that I hate, I, I don't hate the concept of free-to-play games. It's just that I hate the fact that when you, when, when you, when you play the game and there's nothing in it, that is when I have a problem with it. And you suspect us to be the game testers for your bullshit. I don't want that shit. Full twist the metal or any other game in general. Okay? You could be hyped. You could be excited. That's fine. But don't expect me to, uh, to, to look. I just looked this shit up, and I haven't really talked about it all that much with the free-to-play stuff. But I'll say this right now. Don't expect me to be excited. Don't expect me to be excited. I was excited until I found out the free-to-play shit. I'm like, okay, now I'm fucking goddamn bored. Now it's a problem. Now it could be a little bit more of a problem. That's just me. Again, going back, I know someone's going to point out, but dude, there's all the free-to-play games I thought were good. I'm not... You're not, apparently you're not listening to what I'm saying. Apparently you're not fucking listening to what I'm fucking saying. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Because I don't have to fucking repeat it. I don't have to repeat it. If you were listening, I don't have to repeat it. Go back, rewind the video, and, and literally hear what I had to say. Seriously. Seriously. Because, uh, look, I'm just so tired of people going like, <sighs> yeah, 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 for, 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 for free online play games when when they should be literally, that's that's what they are, free to play to online. It's that, and then if you want to put money into it, that's your decision. That's how it should be. Instead of being like an empty game, an empty fucking wasteland, and now you need to put money in it so these motherfuckers can put fucking something in it. Fuck that shit. That's what I'm talking about. If you condone that shit, go fuck yourself. You're the reason why shit is happening in gaming right now. Stupid shit. And I'm not talking about the shit that they're talking about with Microsoft and, and, and all that stuff. I'm not talking about that. That is changing gaming for the better as it should be. But, you know, you know the Sony fanboys. The Sony fanboys are going to look at that and be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> because, those, because those people are not hardcore gamers. They're not gamers at all. They don't want competition. They don't want competition. They don't. Have you ever... Us as wrestling fans, we've been always wanting to competition. We always want a competition for WWE, right? And the thing is, too, like, it's the same thing with the gaming industry. And Sony does not want competition because that means they have to do something good. It's the same thing with Square Enix. All these other RPGs are your um, competitions. Persona and um, Shimagami, they're your competition. But you don't want to fucking look at those as your competition. You look at Call of Duty as your competition. There was even an article. That Square Enix was literally saying, yeah, we can have a Final Fantasy game that's like Call of Duty. You see the shit we st st we're in? And obviously some some of your idiots are going to look at it and be like, yeah, that's great, that's great. Yeah, because you want to go into a franchise that didn't cater to you. Now that it's catering to your stupid ass, you want to be to it. It was never for you to begin with. If you don't like RPGs, if you don't like Call Conduct games, basically... It was never for you to begin with. So why do you want to play it? Why do you want something to change for you so you can get into the series and then, and then alienate all the, the original fan base? But it doesn't matter to you because you're not a gamer. You're not a gamer. That's the only thing. That's the that's the one thing I'm fucking terrified with this new Twisted Metal game, man. If this if this new Twisted Metal game is, is great and it does what it needs to do, I'll throw my money at it, damn damn straight. But if it's not, if it's not what if it's all the bad shit that I mentioned, then I'm not even going to fucking be bothered by it. 
I just watched the, the Twist Metal TV series and fucking probably download Twist Metal Black on my PlayStation N store, and that's it. I'll probably play the old Twist Metal games. I'll probably find some, I'll probably go on the internet, pick, pick up some old Twist Metal games and play them. Just because they made a free online Twist Metal game does not mean it will make me satisfied to play it. Or make me want to play it. It would just probably, and if it's bad, it would probably just throw me away from it and either play um, Twist Metal Black or the other Twist Metal games I could just buy online. You guys should know this by now. And I'm not talking about like the internet. I'm talking about the people that are making this shit. You guys should know this by now. But if you fucking give a fuck, if you fucking give a fuck, you will actually, I don't know, make a, a Twisted Metal game that has a fucking physical copy that I can fucking pick up. But you want this shit to be digital. And I get it. We move to that digital age. But don't expect me to fucking buy anything that, that, that doesn't have a physical copy. The reason some of these games that I downloaded is because I already have some some of the phys- physical copies. I got Bully. I uh, what is it? I got Bully. I got. I, I don't have um. What is it? World of Final Fantasy because I did want to um get that physically, but it's still expensive. Fucking Square. You see, it's shit like that. It, when you want to get an old game, but it's still expensive as shit because of the fucking company itself. That's when I've been like, oh, so you see, you see, they want you to get the, you see, they want the physical copies to be more expensive. And then when you see the digital copy, it's less expensive. See, they're forcing you to, to go to this digital shit. And that's why I'm not up for it. What do you think? I don't give a fuck about it. What do you think? I don't give a fuck about cloud gaming, man. They, they are forcing you to do something that I don't fucking want to do. And I'm not going to fucking do it. If you want to do it, go fucking right ahead. Go ahead and kiss their ass. But I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I refuse to. Right? And when I have kids, I'm not going to let them fucking play with that shit. I'm going to let them understand and understand where gaming came from. And let them play that old shit. I'm going to pump, I'm going to pump out the Atari and fucking let them play that shit. Alright? Seriously. Then, um, then when it comes to the first Nintendo system, pump that out. Then um let them play that. Super Nintendo, pump that out and let them play it. PlayStation 1, pump that out, uh, you know, N64 and all that shit. I let them progress so they can actually give a fuck and cherish what gaming used to be. Instead of just being like, oh, okay, kids, um, heal, here's cloud gaming. I'm not going to do that to my children. The fuck? I-, I would tell them to stay far away from that shit. I'm dead serious. I would tell my kids to stay away from that shit. Far away from that shit. I would tell them it can't. I would make some story up. I'd be like, "Hey, if you touch that, you get cancer." <laughs> I don't give a fuck. As a parent, you do anything for your children for, for them not to fucking go through some bullshit that they don't need to go through, right? So that's it. That, that's all I need to say. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. Um, hey, if you're excited for it, go ahead, be excited for it. But I'm, but if you're worried about it too, like I am, I don't blame you either. Obviously, we should wait and see what happens, but I'm not gonna. But the 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 hypeness for my Twisted Metal game experience has dwindled dramatically, and I rather right now just watch the TV show, and that's it. At this point, I don't even care for a Twisted Metal game, to be quite honest with you. Yep, I really don't give a fuck now. <laughs>